We begin tonight with that breaking news, a horrific scene in Charlottesville, Virginia, a white nationalist rally that descended into deadly violence and chaos. The image is just coming in, a car plowing into a crowd of demonstrators protesting against those white nationalists, a 32-year-old woman killed, a number of severe injuries, many life-threatening. A driver has been taken into custody. On the streets of Charlottesville today, the hate boiling over white supremacists and counter protesters fighting with fists and clubs. Confederate flags on full display, the governor declaring a state of emergency, and that mayhem unfolded for hours before President Trump finally weighed in. The hate and the division must stop, and must stop right now. Police in riot gear struggled all day to prevent a full-blown explosion of violence. A warning, the images are graphic, and ABC's Eva Pilgrim starts us off in Charlottesville. Tonight, panic and chaos in Charlottesville. A car plowing through counter-protesters down this crowded street. Protesters scrambling, the camera swinging wildly as the man taking this video tries to get out of the way. The car just plowed through hundreds of people downtown Charlottesville. 15 seconds later, the car shifting in reverse, screeching back down that street to get away. Here's another eyewitness view. The silver Dodge Challenger with Ohio plates barreling down the hill. Witnesses say it only stopped after it hit a van and another car. Blocked in, the silver car went in reverse. Hit like two or three other cars and pinned people in between the cars, smashed into people. And then it was, it was like a great car with all tinted out windows. And then he reversed out of there as quick as possible. He got away. Tonight, the driver of the car is in custody. One person killed, a 32-year-old woman, others taken to the hospital. We are told some have life-threatening injuries. How close were you to the car? Um, I had to jump out of the way of it. So it was already, it already maybe hit a couple people, but the majority of people it hit was behind me. I turned and saw it. People on the street frantically searching for their friends and family, others carrying the hurt, searching for help. Authorities right now, you can see, have this intersection blocked off. They are looking through the crowd, making sure that they have been able to find everyone in this area who was injured when those cars came through this intersection. Ambulances racing in, paramedics running to the hurt, triaging the injured right on the ground. Shoes all over the ground, pools of blood all over the ground, people screaming. State police moving in, dressed in riot gear, blocking off the scene, clearing the crowd. Just a horrific scene coming in. Eva Pilgrim joins us live from the scene. This is an active investigation and a very active scene we can see there behind you. Eva, what are we learning about that driver in custody? Well, that driver was picked up just a short distance from the scene, not very far away at all. Witnesses telling us whoever the driver was, they did not hesitate. They put their foot on the gas and kept going. Cecilia. Okay, Eva, and you'll be staying on this story for us. Thank you. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.